another funny prison story. I mean, the first time I ever got locked up, you know, being in county jail, and me coming from a kingpin status, you know, I made a lot of money on the streets. By me being labeled a kingpin, a lot of people in the county jail, where I was, they, they knew me, they knew of me, so I really had no problem, because they knew I was a hustler, and they knew I, I was talking that too, or that glizzy, whatever the kids want to call it now, they, so, but when I got sentenced, but like I said, me and I've never been in the system outside the county jail. They sent me to the United States Penitentiary in Atlanta, one of the worst penitentiaries in the United States at the time. You know, you had people like Silverstein down on here, and AB, you had the DC Black. So, if a person that had been locked up, it was like scary to keep it real. But once I got there, we driving on a bus, and people were like, look, man, look, man, we driving through neighborhoods. We get to the penitentiary. It's around the corner from some projects in Atlanta. So they drive it through the gate, to a deal door, and they close it. We get off the bus, and they send us down to SAG. They put me in a room. Big guy, he was out of Alabama. You know, he was like 6'3", 240, whatever. I'm like about 150-something pounds. Just come straight up the street. And I see this dude with some big braids in the hair. We're like, damn. You know, we just left the street. Man, kid and play. We got flat top. We got gummies. Cause like you said, it was in the late 80s, 89. So <clears throat> he like, what's up, shorty? I'm like, man, who is shorty, dude? I'm messed up. You know, I'm looking at him like, shorty, he tripping. He like, what's up, shorty? I'm like, shorty? He like, yeah, what's up, shorty? What you in here for? And I said, well, I'm in here from uh, U.S. Sus, 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 from C base. He said, oh, man, I'm waiting, but they gonna change that law. He said, how much time you got? So I told him how much time here then. I said, how much time you got? He said, man, I got 28 years in. I said, damn, he been in jail as long as I've been alive. And like I said, this dude was on small life. He's been working out. <laughs> so the whole time, I'm just standing in the corner. Dude gonna say, hey, man, you can get on top of the bunk. I'm like, bunk? Personally, I never had a bunk bed. So I'm like, this dude tripping. For one, I don't know how to climb the top of the mother. So I'm just standing in the corner uh, against the wall. Cause I said, this dude trying something. He gonna have to do what he had to do to me here, man, cause I'm gonna have to go hard. So later on they called Rick, and I didn't know what Rick was. He said, man, you're gonna work out. So they took him out to work out. I really had to use the bathroom, so I was so happy that the two left. <laughs> so I, I had hit that toilet. When he came back, I was cool, but he ended up being one of the coolest dudes on the met there. Uh, he he learned me the rope, but at first I was, it was that intimidation factor, you know, being locked up and realized that you don't have no glizzies and stuff. And the joint, you know, you, you check them in at the door. So that's one of my funny prison experiences in Atlanta penitentiary.